Catholic hospitals are doing amazing work at helping those patients really get on treatment and stay. Our partners on the ground are wonderful. They do incredible work. And we are really just on a journey with them in helping them do HIV work. The church has been there from the beginning of the response to HIV. In fact, it was mainly church organizations that began to accept people who were dying of these very strange infections and illnesses before we even knew that it was caused by HIV or before we even had coined the term AIDS. We want people to know how successful they are at keeping people um, healthy, at helping them go on treatment, and making sure they take their medications, on, on sort of walking with them on their journey of life. I mean, we really feel that faith-based organizations bring compassion into the picture. And if we don't have that piece, we don't really think we're ever going to win the fight against AIDS. We, we really believe that Faith-based organizations are built around compassion and communities. And they, they are integrated in the communities and they really want those communities to thrive. They want the communities to, be, to have less stigma towards AIDS. We, they want their people to have food. They want them to have clean water. So we really feel that that story about how faith-based organizations, especially the Catholic Church, in the communities really serves the broader picture of how people are affected. I hope that, you know, there's a miracle. I hope we will find a, a cure or a preventive vaccine very soon. But so far, the indications are that we don't have that yet. And so I think that's why we need to keep this differential approach to both prevention and treatment and response. And we shouldn't forget the social development and psychological and spiritual responses that are part of a comprehensive response to HIV and AIDS.